Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this morning, live on Facebook and YouTube, to minister the Word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness, regardless of our situation or what. As I always say, beloved and friends, that Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of this world. It's not awesome. It's not great. It's not mighty, my friends, that we have the assurance that God, the Holy Spirit, promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing. Jesus promise to be with us, my friends. And I thank God this morning that Jesus Christ is here with me. He says, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. This morning, every spirit of witchcraft, phobia, demonic forces, evil, I destroy under the precious blood. I break every chain, I break every fire, I break every feather, I break every evil, I break every work of darkness. This morning, I release a blessing upon your life. Those who are watching me this morning, welcome this morning. Good morning. Welcome. Hallelujah. Those who are watching me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street with your phone. My friends, I'm here to tell you that God has a tremendous blessing for you this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Isn't he awesome? Isn't he great? Isn't he mighty, my friends, this morning? And that's the God we are serving this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is great and mighty this morning. And he wants to bless you, my friends. I release a blessing upon your life this morning. I release a blessing on your job. I claim a promotion for you on the job this morning. I pray a blessing upon your marriage. That God will bless your marriage. That God will bless your finances. That God will bless your children. That God will bless you your family business whatever you do god will bless and prosper you in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah my friends and beloved hallelujah god wants to bless you those of you watching me this morning if you're sick this morning, if you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, a liver problem, a kidney problem. If you're suffering, if you have, if you're suffering with, and by my friends, a dialysis problem this morning. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame this morning. What the case may be, if you have depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety. If you're demon possessed this morning, if you're demon possessed this morning, and you can't sleep in night, I drive like those demons. Out of your life in the name of Jesus. Be free this morning. Hallelujah. My friends, who the sun set free is free indeed. My friends, hallelujah. Jesus comes, He comes for the heal the, the sick and raise the dead and make the lame walk and blind see for God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to set the captives free, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to make the lame walk and blind see and perform the miraculous what is your need this morning my friends, the thief comet, but for to steal, to kill and to destroy but Christ comes this morning that you might have life and life more abundantly, he said in his words healing is the children's bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. Hallelujah. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. This morning in Jesus name. Hallelujah. It's not awesome because my friends, he is a healer of our, our soul and also he is a healer of our body. Hallelujah. That's the Lord we're serving. He is still in the same healing business for he is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. Times may change, circumstances may change, situations may change, laws may change, constitutions may change, but Jesus Christ never changes. I feel also tremendous anointing of the Holy Spirit for God has given me a healing anointing and I feel that anointing this morning I'm going to send for that anointing in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office, in church, right here or right in the street with your phone. I'm going to send for that anointing and you will be completely healed. You will not die. I says you will not die. You will not die but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet, hallelujah. 
Are you here this morning? God has not finished with you as yet. I know many who are listening to me this morning and many all across the world who are listening to me on Facebook and on WhatsApp and YouTube and whatever the case may be or Facebook Messenger wherever you're watching this message from or live. My friends are here to tell you that 95% or 90, 97% of the people who are watching me will not see the first step. You will not see the first death because you will be transformed because the rapture is so near. The rapture is so near. The rapture of the church is so near. Jesus Christ says, I go to prepare a place for thee and I will come again to receive you unto myself. That where I am, there may be also. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told thee. But I go to prepare a place. And if I go to prepare a place for thee, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am dear he may be also my friends the coming of the Lord is very near the coming of the Lord is very near but before I forgot to pray for you this morning let me pray for you right now before I continue hallelujah are you ready to receive your healing right now be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit whom the Son set free is free indeed hallelujah my friends I see people have been healed from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil. And every walk of darkness. I see miracles this morning. I see God has been touching. Many, many have been healed. My friends, write me, text me, call me, and let me know what God has done for you. He is the awesome, great, and mighty God. Hallelujah. My friends, I said this coming is very good. Very soon the trumpet of the Lord will sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise, and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord God in the air. God has been showing me things in my dream last night, and God has been speaking to me, my friends, that, you know, God has delayed in His coming. He has delayed the coming of Jesus in the rapture. Why? Because He loved mankind, because many are going to hell. Many will miss the rapture. My friends, if you take the mark of the beast, 666 will be implanted in the world very soon. You will be cut off completely to, from God. You will go straight to hell. So if you miss the rapture, you will be left with lots of trouble. My friends, we're heading for a new world order. We have been heading for a new world government and God is speaking to mankind and mankind is so stubborn. He's selling things one after the other. Even America, I preach a message about America and I told America to repent and reverse the gay laws and the lesbian law and stop killing the babies by the millions. And God, God will heal the land and God will restore America. But they refuse. You know these big boys, they refuse to listen to the prophet. I prophesy sometime. In fact, and God showed me his covering is off America. All those shooting and killing and all those things are happening. Right now, the, the monkeypox. The monkeypox, which I, I prophesied last year in a message. I did not call it monkeypox, so God revealed to me. But I call it the same thing, what is happening. I say something is coming. Like in the world after COVID, or even before COVID finished, I said the exact word, before COVID finished, something is coming to this world, a next plague is coming, a next pandemic is coming to this world, which is like a hornet we sting. And when that sting you, it will perform like, it will look like boils. Boils, it's so all over your skin, it will be very painful all over your body and it will be it will be very painful something like sore and with inflammation all over the skin and i see that the same thing has come into the world already in less than a year it has been here already i prophesied that i cannot remember exactly which message i preached hundreds of messages but i cannot remember exactly which message but i remember that i prophesied that about a year ago it is here, my friends, the monkeypox is terrible. Imagine you have sores inside of your hands. You can't use your hands. If you have those sores and boils on your feet, you can't even walk. If you have it all over your body, in your back, in your belly, in front, you can't even sleep. And it's so painful. It is worse. It is worse than COVID-19. My friends, it is a warning from God. Repent, repent, repent. And turn from your wicked ways to the world. God is so, Jesus Christ wants to come. And he's coming back very soon but the world is not listening and the world is not repenting from their sins 
God has been plaguing this world with volcano, thunderstorm, and earthquakes, all sorts of fire and storm, and yet mankind is not repenting and waking up. He is destroying so many things, and for man to repent and to turn from the wicked ways and accept him as Lord and Savior, and not Mr. Rapture, but men, mankind is so stubborn with all this hurricane, volcano, thunderstorm, or quicks, and all this fire in the world, and all this hail storm and all kind of things happening and they play the pandemic one after the other this one is so worse the monkeypox this is in seven states in the united states of america in america it's already reached seven states in america and it's spreading very fast my friends the sign and also the sign is that the, the antichrist stage is set for the antichrist to take over i prophesied about the war the war with Ukraine and Russia, all these things are happening. My friends, we're living in the last days. Hallelujah. It's time to repent. It's time to pray in the name of Jesus. It's time to pray and ask God and repent from your sins and let God take over. Hallelujah. My friends and beloved, we need to pray. We need to pray more. Pray. Pray. And if you pray and ask God to help us, He's going to help us. But we have to repent and <coughs> turn from our wicked ways. And God will help us. God will help us and set us free from the bondage of sin. Hallelujah. When you got close and want to live for him, my friends, you want to please him. Hallelujah. You want to please him. All of us want to please God. You want to please him. You want to honor him, my friends. You want to exalt him. You want to draw near to him. Then heaven opens up, my friends, and he lets you find him. He lets you find him, my friends. He lets you find him. Welcome to the fire this morning of the Holy Spirit. God, the Holy Spirit is going to transform your life this morning. God, the Holy Spirit, it is normal for us to, to conclude our prayers, my friends, within, within the name of Jesus. We must pray in the name of Jesus. And yet for many of us, when we conclude our prayers, that, that we, my friends, we just can cancel out our requests because it was forgery. It was forgery. It was illegitimate. My friends, it was a legitimate use of his name. My friends and beloved, yet it, it is in the most important, the most important phrase this morning, the most important phrase in a prayer this morning, when you conclude your prayer, when you conclude your prayer in Jesus' name, it determines, it determines, my friends, when you get what you ask for. Or oh, whether you don't, my friends, I follow me this morning. Jesus makes an astonishing, astonishing statement, my friends. When he says, he says, when you ask for anything, when you ask for anything in my name, when you ask for anything in my name, you will receive it. You will receive it. Yet you, yet we all, we, you all can testify that we've used the name of Jesus and not got what we asked for. My friends, well, what I want us to look at today is whether we be using it illegally or illegally. My friends, because the use of the name, the use of the name, my friends, and his, his legitimacy, my friends, or lack, or lack thereof, my friends, will determine this morning whether we get whether we get what we pray for, whether we get what we pray for, if we pray for, if we pray, if we pray at all. So I want to, to look at three things this morning. I want to look at three things because if you grab what I, I, I share with you today, my friends, you will see prayers answered like you've never seen them before. You will see kingdom authority. You will see kingdom authority leave, it, leave eternity and come in the time. Leave heaven and come down to earth. Hallelujah. Leave heaven and come down to earth. Leave the infinite and join the finite. Hallelujah. Because my friends, we will have made contact. We will have made contact with eternity. My friends, now the first thing we ought to, to, answer, to answer is, what is this concept this morning? What is the concept? What is this principle of in my name? What does that, what does, does that even mean, my friends? Hallelujah. To understand this morning that we have to understand a little bit of theology here, my friends. 
God has already, God has already determined, God has already determined for you and me that what he does in history, what he does in history on earth and where you and I live, we will do by means of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shikanama Santo Rababayande. God in the words of, of his theologians, holy, holy others, other word that is for it is uh, transcendent, my friends, this morning. Hallelujah. Another homegrown word for that is the we, we out there, my friends. God is we out there and he exists in a whole and another realm. Hallelujah. But we live here in the, the realm of the five senses, my friends. The five senses. How can I get that realm? How can I get that realm? We out there to join me in this realm. We don't hear, my friends. It, it is a way that that vibrant and meaningful this morning. God has established, my friends, a mechanism. He has established a mechanism, a, a means through a person, a means through a person to connect, to connect the two realms, to connect the two realms. That, uh, that's why Timothy chapter 2 verse 5 says, <coughs> there is one mediator, one in between person, between God and man. There is one mediator between God and man, and that's the man, Christ Jesus. Hebrews chapter 7 tells us, my friends, this morning, verse 24 and 25 tells us, Hallelujah, Shikanama Sante, my friends and beloved, says that Jesus even ever lives to be the intercession, the interconnection point. He is the interconnection point between us, my friend, and God. Hallelujah. The Bible says he mediates, he mediates or brings brings to bear the promises my friends of God of Hebrews chapter 8 uh, verse 6 tells us so the word of God the ways of God my friends uh, the ways of God are mediated or transformed are transformed my friends by and through by and through the person of Jesus Christ Hallelujah, that we talk about my friends' his name this morning. Hallelujah, we are not talking about his uh, uh, mother culture, my friends, alone. My friends, we are talking about the person, we are talking about the person who stands behind, who stands behind the name. So when you talk about, when you talk about my friends and beloved, in the name of Jesus, you need to know Jesus, whose name you just use. Hallelujah, I can't just be the word it can't just be the word it has to be the authorized the authorized use of the person whose whose name you just called who name you just call in other words my friends hallelujah just because you authorize you don't don't mean you can you can bring things i have authorized you to do my thing i have authorized you to do my thing says jesus for my good on my behalf so you bet you best get it me okay if you go out there on your own jesus says i'll find another power i'll find another power or power of attorney who who he has who was saying i will give you authority i will give you authority as long as i'm author authorizing you you're using it because the moment you use it in an unauthorized way, my friends, you lose my backing. You lose my backing of authorization. I put it on, on loan to you. Hallelujah. When you pray to the Father, when you pray to the Father without backing, backing of the Son, you don't get the support of the Son. You don't get the support of the Son either in the request you made to the Father. Hallelujah. But now let me give you the good news this morning. The good news is, my friends and beloved, hallelujah, that God the Father, God the Father, my friends and beloved, never turns down God the Son. Therefore, only one time, hallelujah, when God the Father torn down the torn down the God the Son and that's when he bore our sins on the cross. Are you following me this morning? My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Hallelujah. If it is possible, let this cup pass for me. Hallelujah. God torn down the Son because my friends, he was bearing our sins. That's the only time that has happened, my friends. It, it, is, it has never happened again. Give the Lord a big hand. Give the Lord a big hand. God has never Jesus 
So there is a deal this morning. You want to make sure that you are praying for. Hallelujah. Jesus is praying for because of what you are praying for. Hallelujah. For, for what Jesus is praying for. Since the Father. Since the Father never turned down the Son. Then when you are praying for that. Jesus is praying for that. The same Father always accepts. Be becomes an answer. Prayer for you my friends. So you got to, you got to have a link. A link between your prayer. His name and his the request. You make to the Father my friends. Did you get that this morning? The question on, on the floor is not whether you are using the many culture but whether you are using it in an authorized way. Whether you're using the name in an authorized way because an authorized use of his name, my friends, means it, it, it means it's meaningless power, prayer requests because the father loves the son and responded to the son, my friends, and then he responded to us. Who's responded to the son? Who's the father respond to? So he makes the statement that 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 to use the name, you must use it, my friends, in the authorized way. You must use it in the authorized way. Number two, what are the prerequisites, my friends, for me being able to use the name? What are the prerequisites for me to be using the name legitimately and with the kingdom authority so that I can get heaven, I can get heaven to come down into history, I can get heaven to come down into history and to bow my mind and to blow my mind, to answer my prayers. God demands total surrender. I says God demands total surrender. It is submission, submission to his lordship, my friends, or, or, or as Luke chapter 6 verse Lord, for the six days, why do you call me Lord, 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 and do not what I say? Hallelujah. Praise God. It is the absence, my friends, of Lordship that keeps prayers unanswered, that keeps prayers unanswered. And when you look at Colossians chapter 3, you find something very interesting, very interesting, my friends. Beginning in verse 7, listen to these, listen to these words this morning. Whether you do it in word, whether you do it in word or deed, do all, do all, my friends, in the name of Jesus, of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks, giving thanks to Him, to God the Father. Let me read this again. Whether you do it, my friends, word what you say or deed, word or deed, what you do, because we always sing or doing something, do or not, do not something in the name, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus Christ. So when you decide, my friends, my whole life, my whole life is owned. My whole life is owned by him. Let me quote another verse. You don't like it, but I need it to quote it. It's found in First Corinthians chapter 6. I was telling my wife about it last night, verse 19 and 20. Hold on to your seatbelt because of this will rock your world. He says in First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. You are not your own. You are not your own. You have been bought with a price. You have been bought with a price. You are not your own. So don't get on your own once you become a Christian. Once to become a Christian, you don't get on your own. He says, you are not your own. You are not your own. I bought you and I bought and paid for you with my blood on the cross. Hallelujah. Praise God. So you don't say that you're going to be, do what I say, something different. And you go, you don't do your own. You are you are you willing to, to, to be lordship of my life, you of your life. You can have success and kingdom authority in prayer, my friends. Hallelujah. You you can see God move, but he goes on and on, then he breaks it down. What he says, my friends, is just so you, you're not thinking about church. He says, wise, he says, wise, I want you to be the kind of wife, wife, I want you to be the kind of the person. Your Lord, verse 18 says, husband, be the kind of husband I want you to be, because I'm your Lord, children, be the kind of child I want you to be, because, verse 20 says, because I'm your Lord, 
He, oh, he goes on to verse 21. He says, Fathers, be the kind of father I want you to be because I am your Lord. Then he goes on to, to the workplace. He says, Servants, when you go to work tomorrow, be the kind of worker I want you to be because, because I am I am your Lord. Whatever, whatever you do, he says in verse 23, my friends, do your work heartily, heartily as the unto the Lord rather than for men. Work for the Lord. Rather from men, knowing from the Lord, you will receive the reward. Give the Lord a big hand. The reward of our inheritance in Jesus Christ, the Lord whom you serve. He wants total ownership this morning. Total ownership. If you want answer prayers, listen, my friends. The more you surrender, the more you surrender, the more to heaven you will see and want to draw near to him. Hallelujah. You want to get close to him. Hallelujah. That's why the scripture talks about how much the father loves the son. How much the father loves the son. They are in, in each other than they never, never turn each other down because they are such, they are such into each other. He wants us to be into him like that. That's why, my friends, First Corinthians chapter 15, God, Jesus, give me the strength to preach this message. Verse 7 says, you abide in me and my words abide in you. Acts acts of me, whatever you want of me, and I will do it for you because we are hanging out together. He does his work. It works like this, my friends. Well, the father thinks of the son. He thinks, my friends, exactly the same thing. Because they're always in the same page. Hallelujah. Whether the father thinks that the son thinks, my friends, the Holy Spirit thinks. Because he parts of the Trinity God. The Trinity God. So they're always in the same page. Closer, closer you get to the Lord, my friends. Whether you, the, whether the father Father thinks, the son thinks, whatever the father thinks, the son thinks, then the spirit thinks, because he renews our mind. We think, so we, we began to think what the, the spirit thinks, that exactly what the son thinks, my friends, that exactly what the father thinks. Hallelujah. Give him a hand. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 says, No man can serve two masters. You can have the Lord and anything, anything as a final decision maker, my friends. No, my friends, everybody has ideas. Only the Lord, only the Lord get the final decision. Make up or to rule, rule over or rule over rule if you want it intervention in history then Jesus Christ you must be willing you must be willing you must be willing to identify with him you will be willing to identify with him to call on his name in the day of trouble means that you have public confession before him my friends men men in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10 tells us he says if you if you will confess with your mouth if you will confess with your mouth that is open a declaration that I am I am in committed I am a committed Christian I belong to Jesus Christ open declaration my friends and beloved open declaration and not hidden he says my friends those who call on me those who call on me who have confessed who have confessed he says will be delivered will be delivered this morning if you ask anything in my name if you ask anything in my name i will do it in other words anything that's going to make me and my daddy look good hallelujah shikana masante i'm going to do glorify Give the Lord a <laughs> If you will make me look good, that's uh, your prayer request. That's why I give you a secret. I give you a secret. And the secret when I do, you go, God, we be fully, you be fully surrender. And you go to Him in the name of Jesus. My friends, this here is the point. Don't tell anybody. I told you this. This is what I, I want you to do. I want you to tell God. If uh, He answer your request, then what then do I get out of it? Because God loves to hear his glory on display. He loves to know he will be glorified. He loves to know he's been glorified. In the process, his name will be greater. His name will be greater. For John says, 
This is chapter 5. John says, my friends, in verse 13. What he says in verse 13. These things I've written to you. These things I've written to you. Who believe in the name of the Son of God. Who believe in the name of the Son of God. That you might know. Know. Now keep the word. Know in mind that you have eternal life. Eternal life. So when you place faith alone, my friends, in Christ alone. He gives you an inner confidence, my friends, of salvation. Vision. Hallelujah. Praise God. A conviction that you, you are his child, my friends. And now notice what he says right after that. What he says in verse 14. What he says in verse, verse 14. This is the confidence. This is the confidence which we have. Which we have, my friends. We have a confidence before him. So the word confidence, my friends. The word no, my friends. If we ask, if we ask anything according to his will, according to his will. He hears us. He hears us, my friends. And if we know that He hears us, if we know that He hears us, my friends, in whatever we ask, whatever we ask, my friends, we know, we know that we have, we know that we have the request that we have asked, hallelujah, from Him, from Him. Oh, my friends, this morning you see how many times I've said the word no. Hallelujah. That is it. That is in a, a persuasion, my friends, or confidence. In a persuasion or confidence. Anybody waiting for something for a while? Are you waiting for something for a while? Okay. The first question is, are you praying in the name? Hallelujah. Are you surrender? Okay. Uh, but given that, uh, given that, my friends, when there is a gap, when there is a gap of time, when there is a gap of time between a legitimate prayer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The knowing, my friends, that he is going to answer. He is going to answer. But the lapse, the lapse of the time between, between the answer, between the answer is for, is for one reason. And that one reason, my friends, the one reason, the one reason, preparation, preparation. Either God is preparing, is preparing it, my friends, for you. He's preparing it for you or he's preparing you for it. Hallelujah. Did you get that this morning? Or is preparing the two, the two for each other, my friend? It is for preparation. It is for preparation. God will use whatever time is, is needed. He will use whatever time is needed for the preparation to occur. To occur, my friends. Hallelujah. Preparation to occur for the request to be answered and you to be qualified. To be qualified to receive the request this morning. And when it comes now, my friends, that's the good news. The bad news is... is you can't delay the time because you can delay the preparation you can delay the preparation you can decide if i'm going to be surrender you can decide if i'm not going to obey you can decide if i just spend that time and i so god have may have decided i'm going to do it i'm going to take this one year you may have you may be at the 25 years because he never got the surrender so you never got the preparation so he will never answer he says there is there is a knowing, a knowing that occurs my friends, a knowing that occurs and when we are in framework with God, when we are in framework with God my friends it's powerful for, for watch, watch this this morning, watch this this morning, it says, watch this physical and spiritual healing James chapter 5 verse 13 tells us to 15, God give me the strength to preach this morning, he says in the name of Jesus, it says if you pray in the name of the Lord the prayer will heal the sick, will heal the sick, okay, hallelujah, it will heal the sick, okay, hallelujah, address the sin, address the sin, address the sin, hallelujah, the prayer will heal the sick, my friends, hallelujah, my friends and beloved, I address the sin this morning. No, all the sickness is not due to sin this morning. All the sickness is not due to sin. But a lot of sickness, my friends, is, is my friends, hallelujah, is due to lots of things, my friends. He says this morning, he says the prayer of faith, the prayer of faith, my friends. This morning, the prayer of faith, he says, in the name of the Lord. He said, so he brings the name in. He brings the name in. He heals the sick. He heals the sick. It will be, my friends, he, he 
dealing with sin, dealing with sin this morning, hallelujah, dealing with sin this morning, what God is saying, if it could never, never get to the spiritual, we could do a lot better with the physical, but we often want him to do stuff in the physical without touching the spiritual, did you get that this morning, don't touch my sin, don't touch my sin, but give me my blessing, don't touch my sin, don't touch my rebellion, but give me my blessing, hallelujah, are you hearing me this morning? No, he doesn't mind changing the physical. But he wants to address the spiritual. He wants to address the spiritual this morning. The name of Jesus gives you power over the devil. <coughs> Lord, heal me from this coffin. Because in the name of Jesus, of what we deal with less has come from him, through him, but or by, by, by him. My, my friends, Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 19 tells us, he told his disciples, he says, he is having a conversation with the disciples. And he says, you have authority over the devil in my name. You have authority over the devil in my name. Give him a man. Give him a man. You tread upon the, the demons. You tread upon top of the demons instead of the devil. And the demons walking on you. You walking on them. You walking on them. Treading means to walk. To walk. And when the last time you walk on the, the devil, just, just walk on the devil. Let me walk walk on the devil let me walk on the devil rather than him walking over you rather than him walking over you he says my friends i give you authority i give you authority use the word authority to tread on the devil and his demonic serpents why my friends because because many of the issues we have today my friends are Demonically, demonically exaggerated, my friends. Hallelujah. In chapter 19 of Acts tells us in verse 30 and 17. Okay, my friends, Paul is casting out demons. He's casting out demons, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. He just got rid of demons in Jesus' mighty name. It is just the sick is being healed. The supernatural is occurring regularly, my friends, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <clears throat> well, my friends, some dudes see this, some see this, and they say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Paul is using the name of Jesus. The sons of Sceva and, and stuff happening. So we, so don't we do that? Why don't we do that? The sons of Sceva, why don't we do that? Because, my friends, they, they conclude their magic is, is his name. They conclude magic is in the name of Jesus. It's a magical name. They be Paul doing all his stuff in Jesus' name. So they came to the demon-possessed person. The sons of Sceva. And they came as Jesus, and the, the, the person, and they, they used the name of Jesus. They used the name of Jesus, and do like Christians, through Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Christians are saying, Jesus, Jesus Christ, or in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And they went, and they went, my friends, they went, Jesus on them, they, 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 they just, Jesus all over the place. Just Jesus, come out demon, come out demon, come out demon. And they act, in Acts chapter 9, 19 says the demon spoke up. The demon spoke up, my friends. This is I want to laugh. Demon spoke up, and the demon says, "The demon says we know." The demon says we know Paul, and we know Jesus. We know Paul, and we know Jesus. Well, who are you? You folks are. It says the demon jumped out of the man. The demon jumped out of the man and jumped on the boys, the folks who was using the name of Jesus. Strip them of the clothes naked. He strip of all the clothes and he says and put some good licks on them and they keep running on the road. They keep on running, running on the road. Why? Because you don't know how to use the name. You hallelujah. You still use the name. You still use the name. You just invite the devil. If you use the name, you just invite the devil to jump all over you and make things worse in your life on you, my friends. While you call on in call in Jesus' name. While you call on Jesus' name, my friends. So Jesus' name is not a name to be played with. Did you get that this morning? With it, or it is, it is a dice or, or a magic you just throw out there. My friends, no, 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 my friends, it is a person behind the name. And if you, you do you don't know the person, submit to the person, listen to this, intimate with the person, following the person, my friends, healing to the person, submitting to the person, my friends. 
don't expect the power don't expect the power don't expect the power to come from a person to come from a person my friends give me a big hand when you get on your knees, when you get on your knees and pray, and you go to your heavenly Father and you say, Father, I want this, I need this, help me, help me over here, deliver me over there. Then, dear God, as a Christian, show me your ID, show me your ID card upon the right, the authority you to do. You have right now to come to my throne and to make this request. And to expect me to let you in to, to, to my holy throne. There is a, your where is your ID? And oh, if you understand the name of Jesus, my, my friends and beloved, and you got an ID just like when it comes time to go to heaven. And, and if if the Peter, if Peter will see on what what grounds now should I let you in the glory? I hope you don't see my good works because they got a boot out of heaven. There's only one thing that's going to get you in glory, and that is is have somebody who died on the cross for your sins and my sins, who was personal a substitute, who I placed my eternal my eternal destiny in the hands in the hands of the gift of the eternal life and that's your idea for glory my friends but while we're on our way there my friends and you go to God you go to God for answer prayers my friends and the father says what's your idea what's your idea all you got to do is tell him I come in the name of the Lord Jesus who I submit my life to who rules over my life, who controls my life, who I'm not ashamed of, I identify with him, or, or the words of the Apostle Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is a power, it is a power of God unto salvation. Hallelujah, give the Lord a big hand. To everyone, to everyone who believes, everyone who wants a power, anybody who wants some victory this morning, anybody who wants some some deliverance this morning anybody who wants to see some heaven this morning well then give God the glory give God the glory I give him, give him praise give him praise hallelujah shika nama santo da babayanda rava shika da bayanda kina mama mayanda rava santo da bayanda give him praise hallelujah shika nama santo da babayanda rava shika da bayanda hallelujah my friends and beloved it is awesome honor for many people my prayer prayer my friends is this morning prayer my friends is words that just comes out of their mouth my friends and doesn't seems to go anywhere doesn't seems to go anywhere it doesn't seems to arrive at the intended destination in fact my friends you may be one of those who are who are thinking who are thinking god does not really hear he is really he's not really listening to what i'm dealing with what i'm going through the burdens of my life the pain of my circumstances the pain of my circumstances how do i get to him well my friends i have got some good news for you this morning i've got some good news god has a specific point of entrance this morning a specific my friends a point of access this morning Hallelujah, to make my friends, make sure that, that what he needs to hear from you, my friends, gets to him, gets to him this morning. And what is the name? The name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus Christ this morning. To the point of access, to the point of access, my friends, that guarantees, that guarantees that our communication on earth, my friends, our communication on earth, which is this show room which is the true room now I know how many people say in the name of Jesus at the end of the of the prayer my friends was devolved my friends into that tang line of sorts something that you are supposed to see but it's a little deeper my friends than that this morning it's a little deeper than that it has to do with the principle of the authorization the principle of the authorization if you show you be in the building or there is in a theater or being in, into an event my friends where it says only authorized personnel only authorized personnel allowed in other words just anybody can't 
in there, my friends, you have to be, uh, you have to have the badge or whatever the authorization is that allows you, my friends, to get back into this private area. Hallelujah. An authorization of a badge where the public does not a lot of play of praying to God. We do it all around our food. We sing grace, maybe bedtime prayers, maybe before events. Hallelujah. My friends, but it's a little bit deeper than that. The point of access, my friends, that authorize, that authorize you, my friends, to get into God's presence this morning is the name of Jesus. But by that name, my friends, we don't just mean my, my friend, one of culture, but my friends, it says the word Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What we what we mean by 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 mean by name is my friends his his my friends hallelujah his person his character his character recognizing my friends recognizing his identity recognizing his identity is not using a phrase it's recognizing the identity of the phrase you're using this morning. You see, Jesus Christ, my friends, is the eternal Son of God. He is the eternal Son of God. The God has dispensed everything to the authority of Jesus Christ. So when it comes to having prayers being answered, when it comes to having prayers being answered for the Father to grant the answer to, to your requests, my friends, Jesus has to say, okay, okay, Dad, okay, Dad, this one is okay to respond to. So therefore your point of access is your relationship to Jesus. Not merely your belief in God, my friends. To believe in God is good. It's fundamental. But it's not enough for access, my friends. Access comes through the person and work, my friends, of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who has granted, my friends, us the opportunity, the opportunity to enter into his presence, the presence of God. The closer you are to Jesus this morning, the greater the access, the greater the access to the Father, the greater the access to the Father, the further you are from Jesus, the less and more limited the access to the Father. You are you are pursuing your intimacy with Jesus Christ this morning. That is the quickest way. Yes, the quickest way to get your prayers answered. Hallelujah. Because you now now and you pray in Jesus' name. You pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We must pray in the name of Jesus. My friends, it has been a joy and great privilege this morning to be here to minister the word of God. I want to encourage you, keep on walking in God when the in the spirit, but the Bible calls us spirit of wind how we must walk in the holy spirit we must pray to the name of jesus and we must allow god to do something great in our lives it has been a joy and great privilege god bless you richly my friends do have a wonderful day i'll see you tomorrow in the precious name of jesus god bless you richly